In this video, elite batting coach Toby Radford gives a masterclass on how to pick up the bat and set up correctly as a batter in cricket. Let's go. I mean, the grip is a very personal thing. Um, and you'll see some players have a very, you know, the, the top of the hand, is the, the top hand is a long way around the back of the bat. The old fashioned England, English way was, was almost to have the, the top hand around the front of the handle and, and things change. It, it, it needs to be comfortable, but it needs to be effective. And, and when I say your grip needs to be effective, it, it needs to allow the bat to come down in a consistent straight line so you can present the full face of the bat to the ball. Uh, generally what you're looking for is the two hands to work together. If you have a big gap, I mean, and, and there are worlds, you know, fine players around the world who do have a gap and they're very successful, but generally you're looking to have two hands work together and you're looking at two V's. You're looking at the V of the top hand, where you see a little V there between the first finger and the thumb, would run down the centre uh, of the back of the bat and then the bottom hand V would be slightly more down the splice, all right? What, what we're trying to avoid in a sense is, is where the V becomes an O. So once this hand, the bottom hand, starts to get further around the bat, you get a stronger bottom hand and the bottom hand often then starts to take over the shot. Um, with all the differences of, of grips and positions on the handle, a common theme for all top class batters is that the, the front side of the body, which is the, the top hand, the forearm, the left shoulder, that dominates the backswing and it dominates the bat path. Yes, they might bring the bottom hand in, but it comes in behind the front hand. They don't allow the bottom hand to do all the playing. It comes behind the front side. All right, so we're looking at the Vs. We have top hand down the middle of the bat, bottom hand Vs a little bit more down the splice. And then when we actually set up with those hands, what we're trying to do is to get a straight line between the front elbow, the top elbow and the top hand with the bat. So the straight line already set up that can then allow the bat to go up and down on a straight path, but it's this alignment here that's crucial. You'll sometimes see batters where the hand and the elbow, and if you did a straight line, they're almost going out to, to gully, to, to mid-wicket. It's very difficult and complicated then if you have a straight ball coming and you've then got to bring the bat round to get it back on a straight bat path onto the line of the ball. In terms of hands, again, just at release of the ball, just a little cock of the wrist. So we're lining up and we're getting this, we talk about a figure nine. We talk about a figure nine created between the shoulder, the elbow, the hands and the bat. So you see this figure nine. And, and when players move forward, that figure nine goes with them as the toe of the bat goes up. And the same when they go back. It's called a step and swing. And you create that figure nine to allow you to create the back swing. A lot of players will just cock this top wrist. So the wrist will cock to get the toe of the bat up. So as they move, by getting the toe of the bat up, it allows them, certainly on the shorter balls when the ball's bouncing, to then come down on the ball, because the, the, the wrist is cocked, the toe is up, and they can hit down on the ball. If you don't have the cocked wrist, and the bat stays quite low and flat, there's a tendency when the ball is short, to then come up with the ball, and that's when you can lose control of your shot. So if you're playing a pull shot, your hands would be coming from low to high, and the ball could go up. So just having this little cock wrist, allows you to get on top of the ball and just watching someone like Devon Conway last year I think sort of has come on the scene and blown away at test cricket and really really well a top class player cocked wrist gets on top of the ball on the back foot and then gets into some beautiful positions on the front foot as well be sure to check out Toby's coaching website link in the description below also tap or click the end screen to watch the full coaching masterclass I filmed with Toby and I cannot wait to see you over there